Welcome to the Wine Emporium's first Wine Explorers box. Today we're going to take you on a trip to one of the most famous wine growing regions in the world, Napa Valley. Located northeast of San Francisco, Napa Valley is a collection of many American viticultural areas, as you can see here, from up north in Calistoga to in the south at Los Carneros. Lots of different soils and climates that lead to very different winemaking. Um, squeezed up against the Mayacamas Mountains here at the Farniente Winery, um, this is a good example of how picturesque and beautiful the valley is. Here we have uh, the winery of Robert Mondavi, who was a pioneer in the area. And he led the exodus out to Napa to make great wine because it really is a wonderful place to make wine. And that's why many of the wines are award-winning and world-renowned. So join us to enjoy the tastes and textures of Napa Valley. Well, Nova, I have to say... This wine is probably the biggest surprise in the whole box. It's definitely going to be a surprise. Yeah, you don't you, you don't think about uh, sparkling wines necessarily when you think of Napa, but this one we tasted with one of our reps, and we just couldn't wait to share it. And this Explorer box was the perfect place to share it. And um, it was a surprise for us. It was. Um, do you want to tell about where it came from while I'm opening it? Now, let me just say, I'm going to tell you why in just a minute, but it has a bottle cap on it instead of a cork and you just open it just like over here but it is under pressure just like wait why is this not working blue for real <laughs> so you just definitely don't want to like excite the pressure in there and make it explode you want to get it off nice and easy so this comes from the hill family estate um these guys are 100 percent family owned family run family operated it's a working farm with chickens and kids and, <laughs> and cute dogs and all. Oh, that and stuff. a very cute dog. Um, and this is uh, their pet nut of rosé of Pinot Noir. So, what the heck is that? It's called Wild Abandon. Wild Abandon. This is their Wild Abandon. I feel wilder already. <laughs> but so this is a very particular type of sparkling. Um, its full name is. Petitulon natural. Petillon. Petillon natural. See, I can't say it. So we're, so we're going to say pet nat for short from now on in this video. Pet nat is actually a form of sparkling wine that preceded, historically, um, champagne and Prosecco. Uh, it was, uh, it's also known as the ancestral method. And the way this is done is, is that they will put the grapes into a fermentation, but they will stop the fermentation early, usually by cooling it enough that the yeast stops being active, but it doesn't kill the yeast. Then they put it into bottle, cap it with the old bottle cap, and the secondary fermentation that happens in the bottle um, actually creates the bubbles. And it creates a lot of flavor because this is unfiltered. This is a natural wine. It spends a lot of time on the leaves. So it gets a lot of contact with all the other things in there that are other than grape juice. And it adds a lot to the flavor. But this is a really great, fun wine to have off of your winery. If you're looking to make a, a, quick, a quick sparkling using this older method. I learned something. What'd you learn? This is called a crown cap. Yeah, crown caps. Yeah. Yes. Um, here she no, is. I need it okay. Let's taste this thing. It is super effervescent. This is crazy. Mmm. Mmm. A lot of flavor. A lot of zing. They leave the skins on contact during the initial fermentation just to give it a little color, a little flavor. Um, it's so different. I like it. It's so tasty. And this would be something to be just great on, you know, out on the porch or on the pontoon with some charcuterie yes. or a dip or something or something no, cheesy. like, yeah, yeah. some cured meat. Cured this meat is definitely good. This for it or some, some cheese. Yes. Something with a little bit of oomph to it as far as flavor is concerned. But this would cut right through it. And there's nice acidity here, but also nice fruit, nice bubble. So just Some mushrooms. Oh, Okay, well, when we stop this film, we're gonna be having some mushrooms. Um, 
Anyway, so this is the Hill Family Estate Wild Abandoned Pet Nat. Um, and I'm not going to say the French word again because I just will make a fool of myself. But I hope you enjoy this as much as we have. Cheers.